What is up guys? We are now on to the final video going to be in this series of the donuts make you go nuts. If you've noticed there's one small thing I've done and I've renamed our part studio and our assembly for the small box to be called small box. Because what we're going to do here is we're going to have a small, medium, and large box for our donuts, but we're going to cut down on our work time because we use parametric constraints and everything was defined as we built and modeled our system. So when I go in here, I'm going to right click and we're going to duplicate. We're going to duplicate it again and we're going to rename it medium box. And our last one we're going to rename, <coughs> let's call it large box. Same thing for our assemblies, we're going to duplicate, rename medium box and large box. Okay, let's go back here. Let's go our medium box. Okay, we noticed that the heights were good. We noticed that the widths and depths were good for a small box, but let's double the amount of donuts in there. So let's take our width. Instead of six inches, let's make it 12. So that'll then take our top and the bottom, stretch it out, do the sheet metal, everything is good, only thing I need to go back now and change is in this medium box, we're going to take out the small and put in the medium. We're going to do that in a way we haven't done before though, and that's called replace instance. So we're going to click on this replace instance button. We're going to remove this top piece and replace it with the top of the medium. And what that'll do is it'll really, really help us in the instance of not having to redo any of our mates, not have to redo any of our other uh, setups and variables we got going on here. It just took out the top and put in the medium. We're gonna do it again, now for the bottom. We're gonna take this bottom out. We're gonna replace it with the bottom of the medium. Hit the green check mark and we're looking good. Let's just shove some more donuts in there. So let's go to our linear pattern. Let's edit it. And since we doubled our width, let's double our donuts. We got eight donuts in there now, or at least we should. Okay, that looks good to me. Since we did replace instance, all of our mates should also still work. So I'll right click, hit play on those animates. Does it now show us eight donuts? And it sure does. Okay, so we got our small box. We got our, our medium box. Now let's fix the large box. Well, since the large box is going to have more donuts in it, let's change two of our variables. Let's double this width to 12 inches, and let's double our depth to be 4.75 times two. You know, because I want to be lazy, let it be in the calculator. Hit the green check mark. There we go. We now have our big box. So we're gonna do the same thing we did here. We're gonna do replace instance. We're gonna replace the top with our large top. Hit the green check mark. And replace instance one more time. We're gonna replace the bottom with our large bottom. Hit the green check mark. And now my donuts are in the middle. If we're gonna pack these donuts in there, we gotta, we gotta fix that. So I'm gonna to go to, and I'm gonna edit where these donuts were faceted at. So let's do an offset. What direction is that gonna be? And if you see Y is going with the sidewall of the box, so we're gonna shift it down, I think two and a quarter inch, and that'll get us fit in there snug. There we go. All right, we are on our way to victory here. The only thing we need to do now is shove more donuts in there. So let's do the linear pattern. We know it's gonna be eight along this row, but we can also do another linear pattern. We have a second direction. That second direction is going to be towards the front. The distances between each should be three inches, but we run into a little bit of problems that our donuts are not uh, evenly spaced out yet. So let's try four inches. Four and a half. There we go. We got more donuts shoved in there. Hit the green check mark, and we've officially made our small, medium, and large boxes 
for our donuts, all using parametric constraints. And with that sheet model function, we can then now know what we need to cut for our cardboard. So let's go to this large box here. And if I go to my sheet model, it'll show me what my cardboard cutouts need to be. Okay, however, there's a problem. The top and the bottom aren't connected. How could they, we then give this to the manufacturer so that they know how to manufacture it well? Well, that would be then putting it in a drawing file. So let's click on the plus. Let's click on create a drawing file. We are in inches, so let's stick with inches. Click OK. And then we could do this for each of our box types. So I'm going to go to assemblies, actually part studios, and we're going to go to, to the sheet model. And so we've got our small. We can put the flat pattern out here. There we go. And we're going to insert again sheet model. the top as well. Okay, so what we've done is we've thrown in the bottom and the top. We can then right click and hide all these bin notes because we really don't need them right now. And then manipulate this in such a way to where these are referenced correctly. So let's double click on this one. Let's rotate it 90 degrees. and put it right there. So this is our cardboard cutout for our box, for the small box. You can throw in all those dimensions you want to as well. Uh, but what you could do here is you can then print this piece of paper out and then have your prototype to show for small, medium, and large boxes, all parametrically constrained using the sheet model function. I think this is cool. If you don't think this is cool, I'm surprised you made it these far in these videos. You guys are awesome. Stay awesome. Please like and subscribe and all that good jazz. Um, I'm sure there's going to be some more cool stuff rolling out here soon. I would just want to make good content rather than fast content. If there's anything you'd like to see or clarify on or me to even um, expand upon more, feel free to reach out and I'd love to help you out. You guys take care and I'll see you on the next video.